Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on GFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we to see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news update as they drop over the world for now, let's start with today's news. Alright, so the sun will be one of our monetary spirits going to let us know, say, Joao Paulinha get don't emerge as Arsenal's top target get, because they know say as that they look for a midfield reinforcement for this January. So the deal will be between Fulham and Bayern Munich for this Paulinha will only later break down in the past. So that deal, from what you would hear now, that deal feel no materialized for January. So Paulinha is still available to join anybody in life. And for me, if Arsenal can get that Paulinha to complement the Clan in the middle of our pack, to protect the back four and give only guys the leeway to go front, go cause damage, and the, our midfield go mad. Imagine the match you want to play against people like Manchester City, you can't get a Paulinha rise protecting the back four. In the one, but now you say the guy is still born. Sure, the guy don't be like a declarized waste of power too. The guy is very, very good. So as the son, they let us know all these ones. And I don't say Arsenal under Ateta, Richard Gallic, Du Gaspar, and Vinay Van Kashem, they, they look everywhere. They see how they will fit. They get some kind of reinforcement to come strengthen us. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see how all this news will unfold. Alright, away from that, so today we are saying happy birthday to Desire Iwenla, the daughter of Oga Ayuba Iwenla. So we say happy birthday to you today. May lines fall in place for you. May you grow in love and good health. Wish you all the best things life has to offer. At the same time, today that the birthday, we should say a happy belated birthday to Mohammed Ahmed Kamara. And we say may lines fall in place for you. Wish you all the best things life has to offer. I'm going to enjoy that day. Have a blast. Alright, so for the match we will play today, uh, Luton Town versus Arsenal. Luton Town is a very, very small town. We don't have a kind of small club. You check that stadium, say, very small. I can't go check head to head. Oh my god, please. We don't get any head to head record. You get nothing. You just like, this is the first match we ask that they play with them, which is surprising. Maybe they don't play for cup, you get. Because all those head to head, while they check, now usually for Premier League, so we have no record. It's going like their first time in top flight football. So, more just to watch and see how everything will unfold there. Already, Georgio don't come and say, when they won the Arsenal player, see that their stadium, as small as it is, it is always filled with excitement. It is going to be a very, very tough match. If they believe, say, and I look in town, I will go there, go wipe them with Oraimo Cord. Oh, no, you know, they work. Oh. Say, if you go there, go this somehow difficult. But at the same time, you can't say, believe in the players when you get for Arsenal team, the fourth players, they always look for a way out. Of all those blocks, yes, because Luton Town, Everly, you will not be expecting them to come and say, Oh, the BC Shock also come and say, I can't play their normal football, yes. But me personally, I'm expecting a low block, obviously, this is Arsenal Giants. And for also the year for the media space, all these kind of Luton clubs, when they did for those conference, get yes, championship, they will dream. The day when they will play clubs like Arsenal, like in short, that their stadium it will be sold out. Many people will, because they're talking about a stadium when they reach like maybe 30,000 capacity now. So, how many Arsenal fans won't even get slots to go join there? Because all their own fans, all their grandpa, grandma, everybody go home, come for the stadium, come see Arsenal again. Because now for TV, they will watch us, but this time we are going to their town. Yes, so it is what it is. Let us see how everything will unfold. And when you look at the calendar, the fixtures list for today, because this is our only week. And then Burnley, then only two matches there for today. Then tomorrow, every every come day. So if we win today, you will be so around six points ahead of Man City, pending what Man City will do tomorrow against Aston Villa without a Rodri and a Greenish and a De Bruyne. You get more just see how things will unfold. All right. At the same time, so for the media setting ahead of the match, we will play against Luton Town. They call they ask Ateta a question. They call they ask him about Zinchenko. See, people they talk say Zinchenko no they good defensively. So now only forward nine sabi. So what's Ateta get to talk? I think that can't say anyway. The team is saying you don't forget everything finish. Get so as Zinchenko day now we have a very very high win rate when Zinchenko is playing, which is why Ateta still like to be stick with Zinchenko. In short, when I watch that press conference. Indirect, I think I don't confirm since Zinchenko is not good defensively after all. It's something that is visible to the blind and audible to the deaf. Like, you cannot deny that aspect of Zinchenko. But 
offensively, he adds a lot. In fact, the journalists come push back and say, that why do you think he, he affects the win ratio of Arsenal? I say he helps us dominate games now. Come on, I, I'm cutting some slack, you know. I think that they always defend the player. Some I say he helps us dominate games, he, he gives some passes, like just talk better, better things, and that one safe. Not true. Offensively, the Jekyll is doing well, but defensively, not that. Alright, at the same time, they call the ask Ateta about Aaron Ramsdale. Say, how far? Say, this one, we say Nick Pope don't get injury. So, Ramsdale will only leave you get by January. Like, look at the reason the matter. So, what do you got to talk? Like, she will give them permission, maybe they carry the guy go. But I say, no. Ah. Say, as we do like this now, we don't want to make anybody leave because instead of we want to strengthen our team, I want to be strong. Instead of allowing people to leave, we want to be stronger. You get? So, my father said, Is there a guarantee? Say, nobody will leave. I said, There is no guarantee. Like, I cannot give you guarantee, say, uh, generally, that nobody will leave. No, but I don't go like make anybody leave based on, say, people are supposed to join us, so they make us stronger, not allowing people to go to make us weaker. They can't push at that, push at that, and say, Okay, you want a response? All right, no, nobody's leaving. No staff, no player is leaving in general. Are you happy now? Is it clear for you? <laughs> just looking funny. That's a uh, press conference. What did I do? Just did somehow funny, sure. but it is what it is. All right, the question they ask at about January. Say, how far? Say, when I go strengthen, like when I go buy, he gets so. I think that when they confirm, say, if there are opportunities in January, we'll be aggressive, he gets. But one thing we people need to understand, say, before January, say, we will see how we take plan to be proactive. For the January transfer window, so indirectly has confirmed that they are planning. Say for January, if they see any opportunity where they will take strengthen, what we get already, and see honestly, if we still the top of this league, eh, by January one, at J go right and down, Arsenal will strengthen because they don't see say fine we they need the park or the possibility. So we will win the league, he did deal, but we will miss some players for January and some people don't get injured, we need to strengthen, like we we'll go now for Kroon Kidot, we we'll don't come again, no. so we can strengthen in one way or the other. After all, we will sell some players, I don't know if I can attend, we will expect back for their head now, for that they will money, where he did. No, they never chop on now, there was part of the doesn't want to find square roots, bag will fall in, so many, many opportunities, many, many, they just they tell us that we collect like 70 something million for Champions League, say because we did deal, so bad one day, even if not one man, sign, get, Men, men striker, we will come compliment the Brazil City wine. I will not go if we finish the season as the winners now. So, everything they contingent on waiting we do for January, but we shall make sure say, we spend. The call they ask at that and say, like, how many points do you feel, say, person if he gets, gets to win the league? I think that's what they confirm, say, almost in between that kind of 96 to 100 points, so the way when you don't calculate that. So, you need to amass that number of points. If you get them, then the possibility say you will win the league is very very high. At the same time, moment I don't to forget Liverpool though, because those guys when <laughs> I scamp them, but then say we go be like all the Man City and uh, ask now people they mention, but Liverpool still did deal. So when I just this one high, they scamp them. All right, so they're gonna ask at that if there are limits to Bukayo Saka's ability. So Baba can say no. Say at the moment there are no limits. Like Saka doesn't even know want any limits concept. So which limits they try and try on invest now. And you check the statistics with Phil Foden in all competition this season. Saka don't play like 20 games, score seven goals, make 10 assists. Foden play like uh, 19. No, Saka play 19, Foden play 20. So the statistics Saka come on, Saka they play. Ah Saka eh, is to ask now what Foden is not to Man City. Because Foden is not as influential to Man City the way Saka is influential to Arsenal. It is what it is. Have you noticed say, many many other clubs, if they want to use a player as a benchmark to their own players, they will call Saka because Saka is the standard. Forget. If they want to compare Rashford, if they want to compare Foden, they will mention Saka because Saka is the standard. That be the England best player for two years in the running back to back. Because so anybody who want to talk say, say this player good, have you know good? compare him to Saka because at the standard. <laughs> So now say you just be this star boy for a reason. Alright, so my dear Arsenal I spoke use this opportunity to just give accolades to some people who actually they support us for this Starlink internet network who won't buy. Yes, so I never mentioned some names, so I just quickly run down the names. So Adibayo Emmanuel Baba sent us 5k, then Grace Yaro, Madam Grace Yaro sent us 10k, then Pios, yes, Adiboye can send us 11,500, then Oga Charles James sent us 10,000 naira, then Daddy Maxi sent us 20k, then Nedum Stan sent us 10k, then Tokbe Olutsimei sent us 2k, then Oga Ja Agbahi sent us 5k, then Prince Wahid Okunade sent us 5k, then Otsumba Olada Kofayemun 
sent us 50,000 naira. Then Moses aka Fabregas sent us 10,000 naira. Then Ramoni Salami sent us 3,000 naira. Then Real Gino so sent us 10k. Then Ahmed Olamilekon sent us 2,000 naira. Then Yahaya and Modu sent us 5k. So anyway, that is the money to help us support for this Stanley go one by because this week now they get the Stanley. Once it falls in, I will let you know. So say may God replenish and forget in Jesus' name. But those also who want support with the no gets nothing do now. God will still provide for now in Jesus' name and inshallah. Alright, guys, I'll get out. Alright, away from that, so Ian Wright will be one of our Arsenal legends. So Baba said, come, come and say, call the talk. See, if you notice, the teams are now like marking, like ganging up on uh, Oliga. See, the, 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 the target are. They target Oliga because they know how good he is. For us, I don't say all play goes through. All the guys is the midfield maestro. So they don't know say if they feel locked down, so I can lock them at the they lock down all the guys. See, they go fit the tribe out. It seems say it takes a whole lot of manpower to actually lock down Saka or the guy that Martinelli. If you not gang up on them, that's like six players isolated with three players. So other people like Gabriel Jesus, the we will add more bodies to the middle of the park. The likes of Kai Havertz so will join like Frosad. Many people will get a few days. So in as much as this gang up, they be like a setback. At the same time, if they open opportunities for other players to thrive. So most of you see how everything will turn up. So my dear Arsenal lovers, now we will call the show and end. So if you don't watch this, they should check the top left corner of the screen. We see the thumbnail. Click and see that you get our last now update that's the drop all over the world. So start you signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now get out.